Well, uh, hello everybody, Lynchum here again, and um, this has been sitting now, it's probably about five days, I've been gassing it, but I just wanted to gas it and show you lot. Um, bearing in mind this is just off the pears, pears, yeast, water and sugar, that is all. You see the top of this? See the cracks? Now, I know a bottle like this. I know a 2 litre bottle. Bear in mind this is a 3 litre bottle. Can withstand up to 220 PSI. That's pound square inch. Uh, that is a bloody lot, man. I'd imagine it being a three litre bottle, it can be stand less if you catch some drift because the space inside, yeah, obviously <coughs> the material is getting spread around more. But either way, watch this. I'm sure you'll be amazed. Look at the bottom of that. See how round it is? Watch this. Ready? Three. Two, one. Whoa, can you even let it all out? Look at that. The bottom is still rounded off. So much gas is in there. And then what we do, shake that down a little bit. Number two. That's two. Let's just see if we get a third one. One second. Oh, the weather out there today. It's, whew. It's bad. It's storms. There's a... Smell very, very uh, ciderish. Last one. And I'm gonna shout, oh, look, I could, I could take that lid off and it would just gas. It would just keep rising. You do not want to take the gas off though. Yeah. Constantly fizzing. That's the chemical reaction you want. Right, so I want to add to this find a piece of paper, use the council letter. And it's only to be quick. Is it? I let bacteria in it, but the amount of bacteria that's creating in that, hopefully, it should cancel it out. Hopefully, you can all see that. All I'll do is add a bit more sugar. Don't forget, this has already had 400, about 450 grams of sugar in it, plus the two bags of pears. It's a very, very high sugar content. But the chemical formula, I don't think I've said this, said this in any other video. But what basically happens, now you may laugh when I say this, what basically happens is the sugar eats the yeast, and farts out CO2. That's carbon dioxide. That's one carbon to two oxygen. But yeah, the sugar fart eat the sugar eats the yeast. 
literally eats it and it farts out CO2 and that's how you get your uh, that's how you go about getting the gas of course Okay, so that's it for me, but this is permanently pushed out now. That was that's been like it all overnight look, so the pressure created in that is phenomenal. I think I may just add if I can find it. A touch of yeast. I leave my yeast airtight as possible because yeast is still a living organism. Yes, yeast is a living organism. Look at that little, little sprinkle. Hardly anything. Whatsoever. I'm just keeping it there. I've even got another bag of apples. Nice Granny Smith apples here. That I'm tempted to chuck in. But that might be a video in another hour. Maybe. I'm not too sure. The missus didn't bought them yesterday. <laughs> with the shopping. I meant to last a week. But I'm just going to chuck them up. So anyway. That look goes on. What I've, had to, what I've had to go and do as well. And got to start storing it in a plastic bag. Tied up tight. Because if it does explode, and when the looks of that bottle, it's very likely it, it could, in all eventuality. So Best to be safe than sorry. Of course. Now I made a knot and I went underneath it. And I took two of the knots. It's what they taught me in the cadets. And then that. We walk through airtight bag. Look. If it does explode, at least it's contained. Hopefully it doesn't blow the bag open. Anyway, that's Lynch Young. Signing off. Peace.